Winning pitcher Tara Jennings is with me as she sits to my right. As again, the Lady Raiders win it here by a score of six to one over Colonia. And uh, you know, so you know, last time you were here, we talked mostly about your pitching. I never got a chance to talk to you about at the plate. You look like a different person at the plate. <laughs> I mean, you've got 27 hits now this year, and you just look, you know, like a totally different person. Did just something, you know, at the beginning of the year, did just something click or something change or anything? Um, I took a lot of reps earlier in the year, and I've kept it consistent throughout the year. Like, any chance I get, I'll go uh, take some extra swings. And I think it's just kind of helped me, like, settle in. And also, I mean, being in the leadoff has been great because it's – there's – pressure to get on but at the same time it's not pressure to have like a great hit it's your job is to get on base and that's just been a mindset that's really been working for me um so yeah i think that's been kind of the change that it's, it's a lot less pressure when i'm in the box because like yeah before i think you were hitting more towards the bottom of the order you're hitting mm -hmm. like sixth and so do you feel like you see better pitches at the leadoff spot i do think i see better pitches at the leadoff spot i think the advantage of being lower was that you get a lot more fastballs um but i think being the leadoff, you know you, you you know they're coming after you, and so you know you got to hop on it early, um, and that's always been something I've enjoyed doing. I mean, I, I love swinging at the first strike, so to know that that first pitch is probably going to be a strike has worked well for me. How much does it help, you know, to have Kayla Shear and and Adriana Barnes? You know, Adriana didn't play today, but how much does it help to have those two? you know, hitting a couple of spots behind you. Oh, it's perfect because, I mean, like we said, like the, the leadoff and the two batter, their jobs are just to get on, to move each other around. Um, but to have the three and the four spot filled by people who can really hit it hard and bring you home, I mean, it, it's just a huge comfort. To I'll, know that they're behind me. Yeah. I got, you know, they offer, they gave me all this food here at the table. <laughs> yeah. So I got to move everything out. But um, again, talking with winning pitcher Tara Jennings today uh, as Lady Raiders beat Colonia here on Senior Day by a score of six to one. Last Saturday, when you played against them, you guys lost by one run uh, in the bottom of the seventh inning. Did that was that a some you know a big deal for you guys to to beat them today? Yeah, I mean it definitely it kind of fueled us knowing that they were going to come out thinking it was going to be easy that they were going to beat us. Um, but you know it's our senior night. We really wanted to win, and I think that on top of the fact that we were really disappointed with the loss last week, kind of combined to really help us um, come out and do well tonight. You start the year at six and three, mm -hmm. and then the four-game losing streak comes in. Mm -hmm. How do you stay positive? How do you stay focused on just winning the next game? Um, I think it's been really good that there's no like blaming between the girls or anything. No one's getting down on each other. We're all kind of making sure that we pick each other up. Um, we definitely have the mentality of you make an error, okay, take your 30 seconds to feel bad for yourself, and then move on to the next one. And I definitely think the fact that we've been really good about this that this year in terms of not only like within the game but also between games we've kind of acknowledged like we've been on a down streak but we're going to come through it we just need to keep being there for each other keep working hard and we'll get to the other side and then you know tough games against JFK where you guys were right there tough games against South Plainfield where you were right there does it get frustrating at some point it does get frustrating because we know we're right there, but at the same time, it, it's a little bit of like a confidence booster where it's like these are some of the top teams in the conference and we're hanging with them, and it's really hard to beat teams multiple times. I mean, once they start to see you, you know, it, it, you know what you're going into. So it's kind of like preparation for counties now where it's like, okay, we've played South Plainfield, we've played JFK, they're some of the top teams, so if we can stay close with them, we can stay close with anyone. You made it to the quarterfinals last year. Mm -hmm. You got the GMC tournament coming up. So obviously the goal was to try to get further. Mm -hmm. um, any special preparation you guys want to do for that or no? Um, well, we play Monroe on Monday. Um, and so that's a tough game going into it. But it, again, it's preparation for any team that we're going to face. We know that Monroe is another top team. So if we can play them, if we can stay close with them. Um, and just, you know, a lot of practice, a lot of keeping that energy level high. I mean, we had a, a great energy level today. And we want to really make sure we carry that over into the next few games. And so that's definitely something we're going to focus on. Just from the Woodbridge game the other night, was it just simply the bad weather that, you know, that gave Woodbridge, uh, I guess, a bit of an advantage maybe? Yeah, I also think, I mean, going back to the energy level there, you know, it was their senior night, so they definitely came out wanting to play hard, and I, I think we were, I'm not really sure what happened, I don't know if it was the weather, if people had had a bad day at school, but I think we were a little bit flat, and so that was even more important today to come out and have more of a desire to play, and I definitely think we did that. And, uh, you know, Coach Rossi doing her best to, to pump you guys up. Yeah. Yeah, no <laughs> coffee for Coach Rossi yeah. uh, the rest of the season. Yeah. Um, 
But, you know, Coach Rossi, you know, mm -hmm. what, uh, making a change from Sarah Diller to, to mm -hmm. Mary Rossi, you know, uh, what's been, not not so much the biggest difference, but what's been the, the most important lesson you've learned, you've learned from Coach Rossi? Um, I think Coach Rossi has really emphasized, you know, having fun and enjoying what you're doing because it is going to be the last, like, like for all the seniors, this is going to be our last year, our last go around. Um, and Rossi being so fresh out of college and being so much like closer to her last game, she really understands what it's like to end like that. And so she's really been trying to emphasize like, hey, like you got to enjoy it and you got to play hard because you never know when it's going to stop. What was it like walking out, you know, with everybody for senior day? Oh, it was emotional. I mean, some of us have been playing on this field since we were five, and to just think about the fact that, like, this is pro this is going to be our last game on this field. It was definitely, it made it the game seem a lot more important than just a single game. Um, and so, I mean, even the underclassmen, they did a great job getting all the posters ready, bringing food. I mean, it, it was just a great experience, and I'm so thankful to everyone who took part in it. Just between you and me, <laughs> you like playing here better or at the high school? Oh, I kind of like playing here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I just feel like, you know, I've played on this one longer, and I just I think the dirt's a little bit softer, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Tara Jennings again gets the win for the Lady Raiders as they beat Colonia by a score of six to one. If you could find Miss Holfacker for me, I'll do I, my best. <laughs> I will greatly appreciate it. Thanks okay. for coming. All right. Thank you. Congratulations. Put thank that you. there. Yep. Okay. And uh, so, yep. So thank you. And uh, so there you hear from Tara Jennings getting the win today. For North Brunswick, 6-1 to one is your final. And so we'll have Kayla Hofacker, if we can find her, uh, coming up here in a minute. Um, I see the baseball team has taken over the softball field. <laughs> I guess they've earned it today since they did win 6-2 uh, to two over Edison today. Uh, so congratulations to the baseball guys. And again, they are now 7-11 and 11 on the season. They, again, will play their regular season finale against South Brunswick on Sunday afternoon at 12 o'clock, weather permitting. Uh, we will be Raiders Live pregame at 11.45. My thanks to Ann Serrana for Colonia. Always uh, you know, hospitable uh, whenever we go to Colonia. Uh, so a big thank you to Ann Serrana and the folks at Colonia uh, for their help uh, before the broadcast today as well. All right, so here we go. Kayla Hofacker will come in. Yes, you. Kayla Hofacker will, will come in. Made a nice catch out in left field today. And really, it was it was Kayla Hofacker that got things started uh, in that fourth inning for the Lady Raiders. She reached on an error there at shortstop, got on base, put the ball in play, got on base, and that started uh, a five-run fourth inning for the Lady Raiders uh, in a 6-1 to one victory. So, in that situation where you're up, you, are you just trying to make contact and just hit the ball somewhere? Yeah, pretty much. I'm just trying to, like, get it anywhere as possible because they always say, like, you know, like, make sure don't – like, you're not striking out looking. So, like, I just always try and swing. So, that, like, either way, if I foul it, if I don't, I'm just making contact, and that's the most important thing. Were you nervous to your first at bat? Mm, not really because I knew the – I don't want to be mean, but <laughs> – <laughs> but um, they're, think, they're on the bus now. They're, I know, they're but I think the the pitcher is pretty hittable, so I was pretty confident in it, and I was just like in a really good mood. Okay, and um, you know what? Uh, what did it mean for you to walk out here? You know, senior night before the game. Um, it was kind of sad because this is like the last time we're gonna play on like this field specifically. Like, yeah, we have like other games, but like having all the girls together and like just kind of like having this moment to like remember kind of makes it really sad. So. It was a good feeling, but it was also it made my heart sad. Understood, understood. So now you know five runs in the in the fourth inning there. Um, so you know just did it you know, give you a sense of confidence just knowing that okay you were the first base runner you you got the ball rolling. Yeah, yeah. I felt I felt pretty confident, you know, because I never really like got to play that much. So like having like that opportunity just really made me like super excited, and it was the adrenaline was going. <laughs> You made the catch up there in in left field on I on did. yeah so uh, you know did you did you see it all the way or did you have to make some adjustments at the last second? Um, I think I made some adjustments. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're honest. I'm not be so honest. At least you're honest. <laughs> because the one was hit to me, but the other one it was I was my face I was I was so shocked. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> Well, because there's, there's no place to hide out here. The ball will find you. Yes. Yeah, as you have seen, the ball will find you wherever you are. Did you did you feel good in warm-ups before the game? Yeah, I felt pretty good. I felt pretty good. I felt like my throwing was pretty good. Um, my catching, we didn't really do many um, 
for like warm up catches, but I think it was I think it was pretty ready. And um, you know, now were you were you injured during the year? And, you know, uh, yeah, I um. I got into a car accident, so oh. I was out for two weeks. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Sorry That's to hear okay. That. I, was sort of, I was totally fine. All right. And um, you know, so just trying to you know, cheer the team on from, from the dugout, uh, has it kind of helped you see the game from a different perspective or no? Yeah, I think the amount of time that I sat out, I got to really see, like, how everything, like, works and, like, what, like, we could do. Like, even, like, just, like, like helping them also – I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it. But, like, watching it really did help because I felt like I learned more about the game than I usually, like, didn't know. You know, if that makes sense. I don't really know. I am, you, you learned something by watching. Yes, yes, I did. And I enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed watching it a lot and cheering them on. That's probably my favorite part. Now, let me see. I have your bio here. The DJ gave me. Let me see. Here we go. No, that's the Casey Wasserman. Wait a second. Um, Let me see. I'll find it here in just a second. Yeah, you're probably at the bottom here. Oh, you know what? I gave it back to him because it had the list of names on it, but that's all right. Um, oh, it's right there. Oh, it's right there. Uh, DJ Tony Brown, could I could I have that that uh, that the sheet of paper board. there? Did you give? Thank you. Yep. So, uh, here we go. Um, so Middlesex County College, early education. So that tells me you're thinking about being a teacher. Yeah. Um, I'm going to join the education program there and I want to take up, um, elementary school, like teaching. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, um, so, you know, it's funny, uh, coach Diller, you know, um, I think, you know, just, and just from the Woodbridge game alone, I think coach Diller and Mary Rossi are very different. Yeah. <laughs> so what's, what's been the biggest difference? You know, I know you said you didn't, you, you know, you don't get, you don't get to play a lot. So what's been the biggest difference, you know, as far as, you know, when you're not playing and how the two coaches, you know, kind of, uh, kind of keep you encouraged, I guess, is for lack of a better term, try to keep you encouraged and knowing that maybe you'll get your opportunity. I feel like both of them are pretty equal. Like, um, Dylan like always made me feel a part of the team and then like Rossi always makes me feel part of the team too. I think it was just like like me being out and stuff, it just kinda affected it a lot. But Diller was always a great person. She always like cracked jokes and stuff like that and Rossi's just always like a super positive, like ready to go, like wanna play. Like she always is talking about how she's like wants to be on the field. And like I think that just helps because it makes me more comfortable. And yeah. Okay. Okay. And so then my my last question, and um, see, you have nothing to be nervous about. I'm I'm the one that's usually nervous because I'm the one that has to you know memorize a gazillion names and get everybody right. But <laughs> um, my my last question is, are you gonna you know continue to play at all or no? I was thinking about doing it at Middlesex because I thought, like, because I think they're just starting up the program again, but I'm not too sure about it yet because I want to, like, be able to even out, like, balance my working, like, and my education. So I don't really know. I'm not too sure yet. I was going to say, the head coach from Middlesex, he was here, Jim Muldowney. I was going to say, he's doing a little scouting, so you think maybe uh, you got yourself a foot in the door there? Possibly, possibly. <laughs> so I, I wish you the best of luck, of course, uh, at, at Middlesex. And, uh, you know, thanks for, for being a good sport and coming by for a few minutes. Get something to eat if you haven't already. Hello. And, uh, you know, good luck to you. And, you know, thanks again. And congratulations on the win today. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, thank you. You can put that <laughs> this there. This is so fun. <laughs> Kayla Packer.